you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to Japan. Absolutely. fortunate enough to win, you know, three in the last four years, um, which has been incredible. Uh, you know, it's, you know, to have to repeat that success year in and year out is tough, um, but that's always the challenge, you know, you win that first championship and it's like how, you know, it's such a, an amazing feeling, you know, and, you know, my biggest fear after the first championship was that I would never experience that feeling again, and it was such an amazing feeling that, you know, you want it again and you want, you know, you want to get that another championship and another one. And, um, you know, like I said, we've been fortunate enough to win three now, but, you know, now the next challenge is how do you do it again? You know, to possibly three people, how do you accomplish that? It's something that we've never done, but it obviously it's the goal. Can I ask a question to <laughs> like, which, which favorite, like, which champions are favorite for you like, so far? So, my favorite one yeah. was the first one. Last one. Um, just because obviously it was new, you never, I never had experienced that feeling before, um, and everything was just so fresh. Yeah. Um, but the one I'm most proud of uh -huh. is this one. This one. Because it was the toughest. Like yeah. the first one is, okay, you're, you know, we're kind of the new kids on the block. Yeah. Um, you know, just really breaking into the scene and, you know, we win a championship, great. Yeah. And then the second one was like, all right, we won 73 games the year before, lost in game seven of the finals, probably should have won that, but we didn't. Coming back that third year uh, in this four-year run, we had Kevin Durant. Yeah. And it's... You know, we go through the entire season kind of figuring it out the first half of the season. Then once we figured it out, it was like, okay, we got it. Yeah. And it just felt like, okay, we're going to win, and it's just a matter of time. And when the date get here, we'll win. This year was different. Yeah. You know, we faced so many obstacles with injuries. And, yeah, I got you. You know, had so many guys miss yeah. significant yeah. time. Um, I mean, even in the playoffs, Steph missed time in the playoffs. Yeah. Andre missed significant yeah. time in the playoffs. And... So going through all of those things and still figuring out a way, you know, going to seven with Houston, it's tough. Um, you know, almost losing game one at home against Cleveland. Like, the road was just so much tougher. So I appreciate that one more than anything. Oh, okay. Actually, you know, I went to the Oakland to watch the game three, game four, and game six. Oh, wow. Oakland. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that you know, all games are very good games. Yeah. yeah, to watch, you know. Absolutely. And then I had the main question for you actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was watching the three games, right? In the conference final against the Houston. Mm -hmm. During the timeout, you are keep talking to the players. Only I think you are talking to something for teammates, even coaches. What kind of, like, I don't know, depending on the situation, but uh, why are you usually talking to the I mean, teams I during the timeout? I am kind of like that, you know, almost the coach on the floor for, floor for yeah, us. And yeah. so, um, you know, whether it's offensively or defensively, I'm kind of always the guy uh, talking and speaking up, saying the different things that I may see, um, you know, giving different suggestions of things that okay. could possibly work. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's kind of my role on that team, or even if it's, you know, we're struggling and uplifting everybody. If one guy's struggling, uplifting him. Um, if one guy's doing something crazy, trying to, you know, get him back together. You know, so it's, you know, it's, um, it's a never ending job. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's constant and it's not just on the basketball court either. You know, it's, it's off the court, it's in the hotel, it's in, you know, on a, like it, it's a never-ending job, but it's very rewarding. Oh, okay. How about the, after the game? You still talk uh, to the sometimes, people? Sometimes I do. Uh, you know, I'll speak up after the game if, if something really needs to be said. But, yeah. you know, at times after the game, you know, I kind of like to let 
other people speak up, you know, and to kind of say what they feel. Um, you know, you always, as you know, I view as you know, being a leader. Yeah. You always want to hear what someone else has to say too. You just don't want to be that guy that's ah, yeah. and always talking, always got something to say. Um, you know, so from time to time, I like to, you know, give other guys an opportunity to talk and say what they feel and say what they think and get their opinion, and just listen. Yes, listen. Okay. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Championship, yeah, yeah. That, that was, yeah. Championship is always great, like you know the achievement. But you know the team is very tight like, together, yeah. right? That's a very important. It also like not only players, the fans also like. I went to the Oracle, get watch the games, right? The domination, the fans, crazy, yeah, right. Yeah. That's a very important. So yeah, the championship is. Everything like, together. That's the absolute achievement. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And doing it, you know, accomplishing that with people you love to be around. Yeah. You know, people you love to play with. Um, you know, coaches you love to play for. Like it makes it that much more special. Yeah. Can I ask some, the other questions? Like, I watched the warm up too before the game. You were warm up, and you know, you were in the halftime, right? Yeah. What kind of music? You uh, honestly. Um, it varies, you know. Yeah. Sometimes I'm listening to J. Cole, sometimes Future, Jay Z. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it usually varies on my mode. Sometimes I may even be listening to like R and B music. You know, okay. it's like more calm. Yeah, like it really varies on my mode. Sometimes, you know, NBA season is long. It's right? 82 games. Yeah. Um, you know, and sometimes like you're amped and you're pumped up for games and almost too pumped up, and I listen to R and B to kind of tone it back a little bit because it can work against me sometimes if I'm too pumped up um, and then some games you, you may just not you, you just may not have it like it's it's a lot of games yeah. and yeah. you're trying to get up for 82 games yeah. a year um, and then at times like that I'm usually listening to some more rowdy hyped yeah. up trying to yeah. you know get myself going yeah. so it, it usually depends on oh, okay. um, you know, the mood that day. Yeah, okay. Feel your day. Like, yeah. You, know. you have a routine before the game? Yes. Yeah, yes. you do? Yeah. Okay. I try, to, I try to keep it the same every game. Oh, you know, yeah. Sometimes it'll change a little bit, but for the most part, try to do the same. Is that getting a changer, like each year? So like each year every you know year? what? It does. Um, yeah. It does. You know, you just, I mean, like I'm going into year seven, so you start right. to figure out different things yeah. and different things that works for you, different things that may get you going. Yeah. Um, you know, adding different things into the routine. Yeah. Uh, so it, it, you know, it doesn't usually change drastically. Yeah. But there's usually some changes in it for sure each year. Okay. So you care more like your body. Too? Exactly. Yeah. Like take. Like this year it'll be different because I'll be doing more hip activation stuff and you know getting my legs ready to go. Like that's some things that I've kind of tapped into this summer. You know, I'm working on my body. It's like, and I, I question myself now and say, like every time I go on the floor now and I do a workout or I'm getting ready to play, I activate my hips and my glutes and stuff. And I question, I look back and like, how was I ever stepping on the court not doing those things? Like. I feel so much better when I'm doing those things now. Okay. How was I ever planning not doing those things? So it's just yeah. learning, picking up on different things like that, yeah. and um, you know, incorporating those into okay. you know the, the ultimate plan. Which you know, obviously, the ultimate goal is to be at your best every time you step on the floor. Okay. The food is you care about it. Yeah. yeah. I have a chef. Um, oh, you have a chef because I went to the San Francisco that time, and there are many good restaurants over there. There's, there's a ton <laughs> of good restaurants. <laughs> right. For sure. so. um, you know, I, I go to a, quite a few of them with my girlfriend was going oh, to date, yeah. but I, for the most part, I try to stay out of those and yeah. eat healthy and right. let my chef cook. But um, yeah. you know, that's important. You know, that's something over. Like this will be my third season, uh, if I'm not mistaken, with the chef. Yeah. And. Um, no, it's gonna be my fourth season with the Third season. Yeah, and it's um you feel like I feel completely different. Oh, really? Like it's uh feel lighter, um, never really feel too heavy and that's important, you know. Yeah. So just picking up on different things like that as the years go on, um, how to take better care of my body. Yeah. It's, it's
so it's very important for it's very important for the Japanese players because in Japan it's not very popular so, you know, yeah. there's a no share you know there's no players having the share by yeah. yourself so this good advice absolutely very, 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 very absolutely crucial. I mean, I, you know, I, I definitely take pride in being a good defender, uh, but I think, you know, the way I view it is, you know, in order, like, my goal is to be the best defender in the NBA. And in order to be that, like, you can't be a great individual defender and not make your team defense better. Like, I don't think, I hate when they say, oh, this guy is like, you know, he's a great defender, but he doesn't really affect the game. He doesn't really affect the team. How can you say he's a great defender? And um, and so I, you know, I take pride in not only my individual defense, but you know, I like to put our team defense on me. If we're lacking in that area, it's on me. It's my fault. And so um, that's one of the things that you know I really take serious and you know um, try to make sure it's right. Like our offense, and you know, we got a, quite a few guys who can score with the best of them. I try to you know put the defensive end on my shoulders and you know hold guys accountable on that end of the floor, hold myself accountable. Because at the end of the day, you know our offense is great, but without our defense, we're not as successful as we, as we've been. And so I understand the importance of that, and I try to put that on my shoulders to make sure that happens. Yeah, exactly. You said that you know, the, having the pride is very important. The good offense coming from good defense, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So that's the you know. We gotta have the pride, that pride, you know, every game. And like you, you have playing style, passion, mm -hmm. right? I like to, I love to watch the, you know, playing style, like, like every game's passion, the ball ball, you know? Mm -hmm. Because when I was in the NBA, you know, what lesson was, got taught. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, Steve Nash told me, you know, hey, you're gonna talk, especially at the point guard, you keep the offense, but only, not only offense. Defense too, yeah. right? Absolutely. Communicate is very important. So that's why you know I like your style because you keep talking, talking, talking <laughs> every game. So yeah, yeah, that's a very important. Absolutely, thanks a lot.